I see Ashley everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see her. Every movie I watch, one of these girls, they look like her. I, I would have these dreams. She told me to make a wish, and I made a wish that she'll come home. And she said, don't worry, because I'm going to come home. When you live on a ranch in, in the middle of nowhere, all you have is your brothers and your sisters. Everywhere I went, uh, I always made sure everybody knew about Ashley. Now, I was proud to have her because we had that such bond, that big bond together. And, and I miss that. I'm scared that I lost it. That's what's really hurt. It is extremely difficult to keep coming up here to search, but I need to find her. And that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I've been doing, and that's what I will always do. If it takes me forever to search for her, then it's going to take me forever to search. But we're still going to keep searching. I guess I just don't understand why somebody would want to hurt her. Because she's just, she was so tiny and just, just cute little girl, you know? It just amazes me that we don't know nothing. How can you, how can you live with yourself every day knowing that? Ashley! 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 Okay, you're good. Every time we go search, it's a different group of people. It's just who's available at the time and who has the strength to come out here and look for her. Because when you're out here searching, all, um, all you can think of is Ashley. And that's, that's hard, you know? You, it's the question that's on my mind all the time is, what will I do if I actually find her? You know, that's just the worst part. It's not easy to go out there and search. You get these leads and they're terrible. When you don't find anything at the end of the search, you just feel like, what's next? Like, where now? And it's the worst feeling. I don't want to find her in the mountains, but if she is up there in the mountains waiting for us to find her, then I, I want to bring her home. Neva, how you doing? Can you open up that door for me? Yeah, you know you're not supposed to be on the property, right? I'm trying to get into treatment. I'm homeless. Mm -hmm. My mom passed away. Yeah, sorry to hear that. I've been dealing with Neva since I've started. Yeah, they're very susceptible to uh, being taken advantage of, either kidnap or assault, murder. All it takes is one, one party to go to and you see your person and just get her drunk and like I said, next thing she's gone. You know, our, our people, they weren't, they weren't static. And then I think at the time when, when the government just you know told them, hey, this is where you stay, no more free roaming, you know. I think that did. I think that hurt our people a lot, you know. 
they weren't free anymore. And then that strife morphed into abusing alcohol, abusing women, you know, children, and just kind of planted the seed for a lot of these problems and that we're dealing with today. So this is a well-known party house, known for users, drug users. Um, this is one of the last places Ashley was reported to have been seen, supposedly. This house has been a part of many investigations for us. And now, now the, the owners have finally kicked everybody out. And the information is very, very, you know, there's not a lot. And the people who have seen her, or the people who gave us information, they don't want to talk. They don't want to give too much. They go by that mentality of, you get that person in trouble, well, it's going to come back on you and the family's going to be after you. They don't want to be the snitch, the person that knew, you know, who gave that person up. There's not very many resources that go out to the families that are looking for their miss missing folks. There should be at least some helicopters out here or something, you know. And with when Native people go missing, they don't get the same resources as uh, when a white person goes missing. Do you put that down just to racism? Um, I mean, I'm not sure what else it could be, you know. If somebody can explain that to me, you know, I'm, I'm all ears. One thing that really helped me with a lot of the searching was that, you know, every day that we didn't find Olivia, it was also a possibility that she was still out there someplace, mm -hmm. you know. When you're searching, you can't, you can't be emotional. You can't mm -hmm. lay in bed all day even though you want to. But now I'm starting to realize that I need to feel it sometimes, mm -hmm. feel it to make it real. And that when you do feel it, then you get stronger after a while and you get stronger and you can keep searching. I know I know how it feels for her, you know, to be out here searching by herself. With all the all the stuff that we came across, we hope that, you know, the experience that, that we had, we hope you know we can make it a little easier for Kimberly. What did you see? I flew, I flew all the all the swamp area. That's what you're talking about the swamp, right? Swamp butt. Through that, but I don't see anything that's kind of out of the ordinary. Where you at? Mm, way over there. Yeah. Should I come back now? Oh, well, you're afraid to you fly a little bit longer. Some questions, try not to face it, you know. You know, I need the truth, you know. I want justice for my baby girl. You know, I feel she died, uh, I feel she's alive, I hope. But then all the rumors are pretty terrible, haunting, you know. Drive a man crazy. I want to see who these people are. They're there, they're frenemies sometimes, and I don't know who they are. I wish I did, but I don't trust anybody right now. The search for Ashley is my life now. I put everything on hold, Ashley. But um, Ashley is worth it. She's worth everything. I 
It's like, where do we look now? Like, like, where? Where? There's no words to, to even describe it because it's just a nightmare. It's a nightmare that she can't wake up from and it's my life. And I just, I just miss my sister.